previously on Beer 865. America, Flying Dog Brewery, in heat wheat, red, white, blue. <laughs> wow, I love Diet Coke. Deeper, deeper. Wet with banana. Fourth of July. Troops. 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 Starship Troopers. Troops. Troops. Saving Private Ryan. Troop. The Barack troops. Ob the, the Troops. troops. <laughs> Intercourse. The troops. Cool. Troops. <laughs> All right, and we're back. Uh, I know it's been a long time, and we're sorry for that. Um, Chris has been really busy with a lot of stuff, so he, we've kind of been working our schedule around his a little bit, just because he's such a busy person. But uh, well, it's a busy doing uh, productive things, providing for my family, working really hard. Not things like you know going to Harry Potter Land or the beach. It's all really I really did go to Universal, but I did work really hard at work, and so it was a much deserved vacation, and I really liked it. But anyway. Here we are today, and uh, we've got a new beer. Uh, Tegan Medico actually recommended this beer to us, and as our, what was it, 50th light? I think so, yeah. As our, as our, 100th. As, it was 100th? 100th. Yeah. We have a lot of likes. As our, wow, as our 100th like, she chose that we are going to drink uh, Samuel Smith's Organic Chocolate Stout. Now, I love chocolate, um, and I love organic things. So I'm, I'm expecting this to be pretty good. Now, it was Drew's turn to get beer this week, and uh, I guess we've only got two bottles, so I guess we'll do, I guess we'll yeah. split it. It's two bottles, three ways. They're $6 each. I, you know, had to add $14, so. We'll just, uh, yeah, we'll just split it up. I mean, they're, they're bigger bottles. They are so. bigger bottles, so we'll, uh, I guess we'll, if there's nothing else anyone wants to say, we'll go ahead to go back buy oh, groceries yeah. with that money after this. Oh, well, I will yeah. say, Tegan, that if this isn't good, I'm going to be a little disappointed because there was actually a beer that I wanted to do this week. But we'll do this one since we promised that um, that we would do uh, whatever beer you wanted to at 50 likes. Right off the bat, awesome bottle cap. That I is cool. It kind of looks like, like a Chinese that. thing. I can see somebody poking a hole through the top of that and running a chain up through there. Like a hemp and almost, necklace. Yeah, like you could put it on. A, I can see yeah. that. That's probably. A I might actually hang on to this for that reason. On Pinterest, probably. Yeah. It smells like a okay. chocolate Easter okay. bunny from Walgreens that your grandma would get you. <laughs> Does it really? Whoa, lots of smoke. Holy there, cow, and that, lots of. Me, uh, there you go. Me Whoa! Bottles. Look at the head on that one. You don't have a finger big enough for this one. I'm good. I'm still gonna give it the finger test. We'll see what happens. Holy cow! Look at my my head. Oh my god, that right. smells amazing. I'm gonna let this settle. You go ahead and give it give it your test because we know okay. that that uh, given his disability, which is I'm sorry, I don't mean to use disability. I haven't washed my hand, but uh, I'll, it's, I'll just go it's ahead. chocolate. Yeah, it's okay. I guess. Pick it out right. Okay. Right there, mm -hmm. at the right at the knuckle. Wow, look how thick that is. Huh. Unreal. It's, it's almost got, like the uh, ooze from Ghostbusters 2. This must be a really heavy that beer. Is, that's something I'm looking forward it's to. It's nice on the stomach, though. There could be stagnant water in this. It says it was brewed with water from 1758. Where'd you get these? Uh, the uh, place I work at, Union Jack's English Pub. So you're, oh yeah, that's right. You do work at a bar. Pub. pub. Or a pub. What is the difference it's between a, a bar and a pub? I know where Union Jacks is. It's a bar. It's a more uh, English style pub, like like if you were to go to England, that's okay, what it'd be like. It's, well, so it's, it's, not, it's Knoxville, Tennessee. It's not England. I mean, you know what this looks like? This looks like a like a, a float, like a root beer float, because the head on a root beer float's always really persistent and thick. I can't really tell if it's organic chocolate. No, let me just like feel it. Very dark. You cannot. You can barely see through this either. There's a lot of bubbles, but not a lot of. Uh... Carbonation. Well, I feel I feel like the bubbles look smaller too. I got nothing. No, really? Part, like, are these flat? Uh, I don't think so. Are you guys messing with me? Because I, I don't feel anything. Oh. I mean, it's like cold coffee. The way cold coffee feels. I feel like leave? coffee though. I don't really taste a whole lot of chocolate, and it indeed does taste like cold black coffee. It feels like coffee. It's very cold, but I'm not feeling that. Crisp, bubbly uh, feel that we've felt from the past uh, beers we've reviewed. I don't know. Let's go ahead and that. go ahead and let's go ahead and do the rating. Chris's rating up front. <laughs> That's it's cold coffee to me. It's, it's like I got guy if I've driven to work, forgotten that I purchased a coffee. Um, Lunch break rolls around. 
I notice it's there. Try it. It's freezing cold. I so just, what you uh, associate with beerness just isn't really there for you. It's not. It just doesn't have that bubbly feel and, that I think a beer should have. And it's a shame too it's because it's really heavy. I don't know if you guys, have, but it's it, it tastes heavy and it's well. I mean, it's thicker. When uh, you did the finger test, well, it was I mean, thicker. just just the weight physically, physically, heavy. Like it's, yeah, it's it's hard to lift. I mean. Oh, well, you might get some kinda, some biceps. It's got a thickness to it. It does. Yeah. Um, it's, uh, but the, one thing I can say, it sits well on the stomach, though. I think the the appeal to this is right here, right here in the nose, because man, I, it smells like I'm just I'm nose deep in a Whitman sampler right now. Mm. It's chocolates. It's like cho- a box of chocolates. The Lindemorch uh, truffles, Lindelmore, Linderdorf, L- Linder. They got like the nuts on them. They're balls and they're wrapped. Uh, I get them every Christmas in a box from my grandma. Oh, like rich people. Uh, well, you can get them at Walgreens still, with the Easter bunnies and stuff, but they're year-round. Um, uh, Linderdorfs. Yeah, yeah, truffles. yeah, yeah. Linderdorf truffles. Yeah. But, I yeah. would rather have something crunchy than just that. This is nothing to me. I don't. I'm gonna rate this very poorly. What I'm gonna it? go ahead and give you my rating. Okay. <clears throat> this is this is a very poor rating. Oh my gosh. Um, it's it got warm very fast. It's very heavy. When I'm lifting it from the table, too, it's physically heavy. Um, no bubbly uh, sting, no crisp feeling. It's, it's it's cold coffee. I'm gonna give it a, a, a two. Whoa, that's pretty low. Are you gonna drink the rest of it? Oh, I'm not. Even, it? I'm not sure this isn't cold coffee. Oh. <laughs> okay, fair enough. There's more. Do you? Mm. Of course, you want more. Oh, for real? Um, it's very heavy. It's very thick, just kind of just, mm, you know. Got in there. Yeah, I wouldn't down a six pack of this. It uh, mm-hmm. It is tasty. It's uh, it's chocolatey. It's, you know, it's it's all of those things. But you're right, and I'll be honest with you, by just by pure coincidence, you say it feels like cold coffee, and I feel like it tastes like cold coffee. So mm. maybe you're, maybe you've got something, uh, maybe you're on point there. I wonder if it is. Organic. Um, that means that it's the chalk, they just grow that chocolate naturally. It's trendy, isn't it? Well, it's pretty impressive though that they grow the chocolate nat- naturally because I don't know, if, you know, a lot of chocolates, uh, synthetic or organic, that taste that good. I think it's a good chocolate flavor well, personally. I don't even have a sweet tooth. I lost mine when I was a baby, so I mean, you know, at least for me to actually like something sweet like that, you know, it's kind of a landmark. I think it well, tastes good. I don't know if you've heard that, like in every chocolate bar, there's like six spider legs or cricket legs. I don't know. And I think I think organic chocolate is just simply where there's those legs are not there. Well, I mean, I would prefer something to chew on rather. You would feel it in there. Organic. That kind of other things come to mind when I think organic. I think uh, vegetables. Vegetables. Going green. Which, by the way, I don't know if that's intentional or not, but. Well, uh, um, what? Dreadlocks. Your green shirt. Oh, yeah, yeah, the green shirt. No, it wasn't intentional. It's really good. green, you have but, a green shirt on. Uh, <laughs> I get it. Leaves, trees, the stuff in food now. Appalachia. Gluten-y. Gluten-y. I mean, when I think, it, and it's weird, too, because when I think organic, I think, like, skinny people who are vegans. Mm. And when I think yes. chocolate, I you know, I, I think, you know, Badasses, right? So you got to get that mix. It's kind of like a bit of cognitive dissonance going on in my mind's, uh, in my mind, in my mind. So. Been mind fudged. Yeah, yeah. Oh, mind yeah. fudged. I like that it because it's a chocolate smell. Mm-hmm. When I opened this, I was hoping for like a Willy Wonka experience in my mouth, like just chocolate waterfall mixing the chocolate. <laughs> Obviously, before the German kid tainted it with his hands. Right. But I was expecting like. Just, just like a fondue pot of, of chocolate, and I gotta be honest, because of that, a little let down. I think they should just call it an organic stout with chocolate, as opposed to an organic chocolate stout, because the chocolate's really not that yeah. much there, or it's not really present. Yeah, you to don't me. want false advertisement. On the nose, it's there. It's that, that's like all I smell. It's like a Hershey bar, just, mm-hmm. or a Toblerone, or a Butterfinger, or something like that, but. Beyond that, tasting? A little bit of a peanutty taste with the... Or a peanutty smell, excuse me. I know, that's why I said Toblerone. Yeah. See, now I'm starting to feel... I mean, I've just had a little bit, and I'm starting to feel 
like jumpy and uh, really hyper jittery. Sort of jittery. Um, I don't know. I disagree with you guys. I mean, I, you know, as much as you guys are not gonna, and I don't know. Maybe it's because you, you all eat more chocolate than me. We also work at a bar. Well, that too, but also when I was a kid, I wasn't allowed to eat a lot of chocolate. You know, we were, like I said before, lost my sweet tooth when I was a baby. That was because uh, my dad punched mine out of me. <laughs> because it, with him being, you know, in the dental field, I was not allowed to eat chocolate. If he came home and he found chocolate wrappers in my pockets when he was doing the laundry, because he would go through the pockets. He would knock the bedroom door down. I guess with my palate, I have a lot more of a, a chocolate explosion going on because I don't eat a lot of it. I have no expectations when it comes to chocolate. If I put ice yeah, in this, okay. if I put ice in this and then whipped cream on the top and a caramel drizzle, mm -hmm. I could probably drink this in a second. Mm -hmm. It would probably get a, a higher rating from me if that's the way they served it, but how are you going to get all that in a bottle, right? Yeah. <laughs> middle, yeah. I would probably give this a six and a half. Not a bad beer, not the best beer I've ever had. Didn't exactly meet my expectations given the name of it as an organic chocolate stout. I was expecting more chocolate, and I, I feel like this is more of an organic stout with chocolate than an organic chocolate stout. What about you? Uh, I'm gonna say about a seven. I mean, it's not something I would drink a lot of. It's but expensive. Yeah, I, it's expensive, but I mean, for, you know, if you're at a wedding or something or a freaking, it, 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 an event where you want a crazy sweet beer, um, and just want one of them. I think it's pretty good to go with. It's better than a damn Smirnoff or something like that. So, you know, when you see the girls drinking their little limeade Smirnoff drinks, be like, I'm gonna be over here with Sam Smith drinking the. Uh, Where would you drink a beer like this? Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory. I good. in good England. Answer. In England. Yeah. Oh, okay. I would. Is that a real place? Uh, I think it is. Yeah, it was in the movie. Okay. Mm -hmm. That was a documentary. It was just a movie. Oh, but they still based made on it. true events. I see. I would say Easter dinner is where I'd have one of these uh, with my bunny. I think it would go really well with the, um, the what are the eggs that you get? The Easter eggs. No, the eggs that you eat. Cadbury the, the shell, not the Cadbury with the stuff in it, the, the big chocolate ones with the little ones. Like chicken uh, eggs. Like the breakfast, little hold eggs? No, eggs. the little tiny colorful ones that are like blue and green and pink. You get them in the bag. Uh, I think I'd probably uh, want to drink this maybe first thing, you know, when I get to work in the morning uh, to help me, you know, wake up, help me start my day, maybe um, go to a, a cool building downtown uh, that, you know, has exposed brick walls and wood floors and maybe sit down with a, a cup of this and maybe, you know, write what's on my mind, um, you know, maybe do some work on my... My Apple laptop with my earbuds in. With a cigarette. So you're just talking about like a coffee shop. Uh, yeah. Pretty much what that is. Yeah, is a coffee yeah, shop I guess is so. what you just yeah. described. I guess so, yeah. Yeah. We got a seven, six and a half, and a two. That's our ratings. Uh, give this a shot, and thanks, Tegan, for su su suggesting it to us. But I got to be honest, I think you could have done a better job suggesting a beer. But. That's okay though, because that's 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 the exciting thing about this show is that we don't know where we're headed. We're just gonna head there. Yeah. And today, on uh, you know, for better or worse, we headed into kind of a not quite as exciting place. So uh, I guess we apologize and uh, we forgive you, Tegan, for that. And I guess thanks for watching and uh, <laughs> like us on Facebook, like this, subscribe to the video if you haven't already, and we'll see you again when we see you, whenever we uh, whenever we can, whenever Chris can kind of. Uh, coordinate his schedule with us. Sure, yeah, yeah. Anytime I've, you know, told uh, the audience and you guys here that I'm available anytime. Just, just call me or just look at my Facebook messages. If, as long as you're in town and not at the beach or Disney World. Okay. We will see you guys next week. <laughs>